Hi, it's Nick Berry here from Seed Terminator. We're going to have a chat today about what exactly makes up the Seed Terminator system. Um, and it's basically made up of a few different parts. We have our patent pending mechanical drive system, which basically takes a mechanical drive off of the harvester's tropper drive line and brings it down and drives the two multi-stage hammer mills using belts, shafts and gearboxes. It's a simple, efficient drive system that enables us to have a, a nice uh, cost-effective retail price of under 100,000 Australian dollars. Um, it also enables a really efficient power transfer from the harvester, um, which is really important when you have smaller Class 7 harvesters. We put it onto some older Class 7 harvesters like a John Deere 9760 STS series. Um, and just really prove that the efficiency in the drive system and the multi-stage hammer mill was suitable for those different classes. And talking about the the uh, the next bit is really this smooth feed system here. We, uh, we we transfer this rectangular feed off of the back of the harvester into the, the circular in feeds of the multi-stage hammer mill. And to do this, we need a smooth transition and a steep transition to prevent any bridging or blockages in the inlet shoots. Um, so that's our smooth feed system, and then it feeds into our multi-stage hammer mill. The hammer mill has flail centres which enables good pulverisation, but it also makes it a bit more bulletproof if something um, hard goes in there. I uh, wouldn't recommend putting anything hard in there, but <laughs> we'll say that, uh, you know, that you know, if it's flexible it's a lot better, isn't it? Um, and the multi-stage hammer mill has multiple stages of impact and screening. So we're belting it against a screen which has large openings at the centre and then those openings progressively get smaller. So that's really how the multi-stage hammer mill gets its high capacity. It also, the multi-stage hammer mill uses um, aero impact technology. So that's all about generating low turbulence airflow. So we're, we're, we're generating high airflow, but we're doing it without generating huge amounts of turbulence. Turbulence generates heat, which is wasted energy. So we're we want the airflow because the airflow off the sieve um, basically needs to be matched with the mills, otherwise airflow travels out over and into the straw and that generates an opportunity for weed seeds to escape. So we have the high airflow and that enables maximum capture of weed seeds. If you can't capture them there's no point pulverising the living daylights out of the material. Um, and then also that airflow has an effect on the back end. We have really high airflow capacity. This machine, it's got the chutes pointing backwards and that's really to, uh, in lentil material, we have, we have issues with um, the rotary screens blocking up on the harvester. So if we can shoot it out as far as possible, that's good. But equally, you can have it pointed out to the side to generate good spread. And, um, and uh, that's pretty well it. It's a, the seed terminator is a simple solution and it, it's easy to use and it's uh, easy to live with.